What's going on, y'all? This is Kevin Redline. It is like 6.30 right now, and I'm finishing up my workout. I know I didn't get a chance to talk about uh, the Calais Campbell and, excuse me, not Calais Campbell, Yannick Ngakwe and uh, Des Bryant signing. Uh, and I'm here to talk about that right now. I'm up so early because I'm getting my workout in. I've got my jump ropes, got my weights under the table. So uh, I'm wrapping that up so I can get ready for work. But I figured I'd take this time to talk about what is going on. And yeah, I got, you know, I'll be playing playing my, my videos for, uh, for, for a little bit of uh, motivation. Because not only do I love the Ravens, but I love the music that I usually put in those videos. So... With that being said, how I feel about the Yannick and Gakwe, I, I like it. I wasn't expecting it because I didn't think they was really going to address, address the pass rush, but they did, and, I mean, it is what it is. I think it's going to help the secondary out because we can uh, work on, we can do more four-man rush instead of the, you know, blitzing constantly and constantly and constantly. We can have some help in the uh, in the backfield and, you know, allow our four-man rush to do what it's supposed to do. So, I think it's going to help out in that manner. As far as the Des Bryant thing, uh, I don't think he's going to stay on the practice squad. Uh, I think it works for both camps. I know people were like, oh, I know Des Bryant is is uh, upset or, you know, he had to degrade himself. I mean, honestly, for the Ravens, they get to sign him cheap and uh, because of the new rules focusing on uh, COVID-19 protocol or something like that. I know they can bring him up uh, easier than it would be if, uh, if, if, if we were working on the normal rules. Uh, and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not 100% sure how that whole thing works. But with that being said, um, they get to assign him for cheap, and they also get an, exterior, an extended period of time to see how he's holding up, how he's practicing, how he's looking in practice rather than, you know, one workout in which he might have a bad workout. So they get to see him over an extended period of time and uh, see how he's looking in game if they decide to bring him up, you know, sooner rather than later. And he gets the opportunity to prove that he still has, you know, he still has it despite, you know, the injuries and the time away from the game. So with that being said, I, I think that that'll work out well. Me personally, you know, I, I, I kind of wish the Ravens would kind of just bring, you know, let the young guys come in and prove themselves. But I understand why they're doing it because they're, they're going for a championship. So, you know, uh, you know, with championships, as my man Engraven says, it'll bring some good vibes, man. <laughs> but uh, with that being said, uh, I, I think it, it's a it's a good move. We'll see how it's going to uh, turn out, you know, as time goes on. Uh, I think with this, Judon has no choice but to shine. If, if Judon doesn't go off or he lets, you know, one of uh, like Bowser or somebody, you know, outshine him, if he's not getting, the, you know, sex with Yannick being there, uh, you know, I don't know. Honestly, they, they might sign Yannick over... Uh, Judon. Actually, I think that's a, a good chance that that might happen uh, at the end of the season. But we'll see how everything plays out. Uh, I'm I'm excited. Uh, being that it's a bye week, you know, it's, it's not going to be no Ravens playing, but I'm excited to see how we do against the Steelers because, I mean, they, they've they been lighting teams up. But we'll see. I mean, I, I'm excited. Let me know how you guys feel. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to finish up trying to get my life right and get some of this extra weight up off me. I'll holler at y'all later. Y'all have a good one. See you.